Elon Musk announces plan to remove the block feature on X in violation of Apple and Google Play Store guidelines. I genuinely do not understand why Elon Musk would want to remove the block feature. He says block is going to be deleted as a feature except for DMs. He says it makes no sense. I don't know. It, it makes a lot of sense. What do you guys, what do you, like, why not, not just, why not just mute? No, because block stops someone from basically stalking you. But then yeah. they just make a fake account and stalk you. Then I'll block that one too. But then they just make another one. And I'll block that one too. And then too. they make 50 more and, and then you're keep, busy. But then that makes so much time for and you. And I'll block them every single time. I think it's better to mute someone and they don't know they're muted. So they can scream no, in the but void. Then, but See, then. there are prominent high profile people with millions of followers who don't make fake accounts and their job exists to stalk your Twitter take you, your tweets out of context and insult you and smear you and make money off it. I'm going to make it harder for them by blocking them. So now they'll have to make a fake account, but many of them do not do it. Someone suggested if the mute button also made it so they can't post or reply to any of your stuff. That's a block. No, well, it's just block, be, yeah. But it, they could still view your stuff. Right. I can, I can open anyone's Twitter page in a private tab and see their profile if they've blocked me. Right. But you have to seek it out. Blocking someone makes it so that they, you don't appear in their feed anymore and out of sight, out of mind. It helps tremendously. There's another thing you can do, and it's a forced unfollow, where you go to the person who's annoying and you block and unblock right away. What this does is, if these people are stalking and, har and like just un being annoying or like, I, I try to use this word lightly, harassing. Harassing to varying degrees, it's hard to on the internet, but there's a point where you can get to it if they're posting your address. And I've had people post photos of my house and address and things like that. If I block them, they'll go nuts. They'll make a fake account and then they'll start using that account to bother me again. So one thing you can do is block and unblock really quick. They're no longer following you. And now your posts won't appear in their feed and they might slowly forget about you. There's a couple of ways you can do it. But more importantly, let's just put it this way. There are prominent high profile nonprofit organizations who have staff who don't run sock puppet accounts. And if you block them, they stop talking about you. That's why blocking works. There's other things too. I mean, some people do not, if, if you're telling me, they might make a fake profile and stalk me and harass me anyway. Okay, well, I'll make it harder for them. At least give me some options. It's like, don't say, well, they're going to come, they're going to break in your house anyway, just open your windows. It's like, no, I'll lock my windows. Sure, they can smash the window and climb in, but I'll at least make it harder for them. But it's kind of like blocking someone's like making them wear a blindfold so they can't see you. It like, works. it's like, yeah, but it's not real. It doesn't because, well, it, not, it, bro, it works. If your goal is to make it so it, someone can't see your social media, you can't yes. do it. They can always make a new account. It, and it works. It the works. guys who work at Media I mean, Matters don't say, make fake accounts. That's it. How do you? There's no way to know that. There. I'm, okay, bro. Yes, there is. And I don't want to start talking about private security stuff beyond this. But you are completely wrong. Blocking matters. It is one of the first things redundant. we do in a security assessment when you're dealing with people swatting and doxing and sending bomb threats. The first thing you do is you make it harder for them to interact with you and your content. Yeah, mute. They can't Mute call does you. does not do that. Then they can't, every time they try and call your number to, to dock or to, to call a bomb threat You're or whatever, right. it just goes into the void. It never, it never no. picks up. The point is you want them, you want to be harder for them to see you. That's it. You want to reduce visibility. It is not perfect, but it is the first action you take when dealing with stalking and harassment. It also, it, it, it prevents them from like interacting with your tweets. And your followers. And your followers and posting, on there and, and stuff. And posting so, porn and so other. So that kind of stuff matters about like w how they can interact with your account is different when it's a block versus a and, mute. And some of these accounts have 50,000 followers and they don't run sock puppets. Their goal is with their account to harass you to gain followers. If they can no longer do that, they'll target someone else. That's why adding to the mute function that they can't post on your stuff or just, retweet that, your stuff. Block. That's a block. It's just a, no, but they can still see your stuff. And, they, think, and they still can right now. I personally think that if they're thinking of like, actually removing the block feature, then they should make it a policy that you're not allowed to have an anonymous account because I'm in favor of keeping the block. I agree with you as somebody who has been harassed online and has had stalkers and, you know, people be really, you know, weird online. Uh, you sometimes have to block them, right? Because people get obsessive. Like pe there are stalkers that, you know, latch onto you. And sometimes for your own safety, as Tim said, you have to block them because it becomes overbearing.